Duncan J. O'Shea here for you for Rodeo Houston Unplugged. Today here at Rodeo, it's Armed Forces Appreciation Day, and we get to celebrate our men and women in your sport. It's a pretty special day, isn't it, Joel? Very special day. One of my favorite days of the entire year where we get to honor our servicemen and servicewomen who sacrifice so much for us. Now, now, don't be fooled. We've got a party going on here in the background, but earlier today we had former U.S. Navy four-star Admiral William H. McRaven come and speak to our servicemen and servicewomen, and what a great speech it was. All of you that are here today are here because this great committee came together, the Armed Forces Appreciation Committee, to make sure that we could bring you guys in. Nothing says Texas like a rodeo and veterans. Those of you serving today are children of the magnificent warriors who went before you, and each of you will leave behind a legacy that will affect the thousands upon thousands of warriors that will follow. As you leave today, always remember the sacrifice of the men and women that came before you. Always remember the obligation you have to represent them with honor and dignity. And always remember that the future of the military depends on the legacy you leave behind. What does it mean to the men and women out here in uniform to be able to come out to Rodeo Houston and really feel the love and support? Well, when you think about, again, what this committee did uh, to bring these soldiers in, you know, 3,000, almost 4,000 soldiers, sailors, yes, airmen, Marines, Coast Guardsmen, and again, they've got the first responders coming again in, in a week or so. So just, you know, tremendous support from the local Houston community, but this means so much to the, the warriors that are out there and their families, because it shows, once again, that America cares about what they're doing out there, that, that America understands the sacrifice that they and their families are going through. And, you know, if you could have seen the smile, which I know you did, the smiles on these kids' faces as they came through the chow line, listened to the music, danced into the Marine Corps band, it was just fabulous. It was very infectious. I found yeah. myself <laughs> sort of dancing along with everybody. Yeah, it was great. Not to mention the barbecue that was going on. The barbecue was pretty good, too. <laughs> Well, there you have it, folks. Time to get back to the party. But listen, if you're on the ground today, don't be shy to go up to one of our men and women in uniform and say thank you. 